Hi, I'm Laura Brady Sade of GiveMe10.info. GiveMe10 is all about making the most of those rare, unscheduled minutes throughout our day. I had a chance to talk to Laura Vanderkam, author of 168 Hours, You Have More Time Than You Think, as well as What the Most Successful People Do Before Breakfast, which is out in paperback. Here, she shares her tips on how we can make the most of our weekends. Well, certainly some of the same things that you do before breakfast can be done on weekends. So picturing how you want to spend your time on the weekend. I find that a lot of people have trouble getting their heads around that idea. We don't sit there and plan out our weekends in the same way that we plan out our work days. And on some level, you don't want to, of course. You're not having meetings every 15 minutes and phone calls all the time. But it does help to think through how you wish to spend a weekend day. What would make this a great day when you're looking back on it at night? What would you like to say you've done that's been fun, meaningful, enjoyable for you and the people you care about? And knowing what the answer to that question is can help that come true over the course of the day. So I would say that that's a good one for weekends as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have another one for the weekend? I have one that I would be careful not to do, okay. which is to use too much weekend time for chores. Mm -hmm. And when I talk to people about this, they always say, well, if I'm not doing my chores on weekends, when am I supposed to be doing them? And that is a good question. But I would try to minimize the amount of weekend time spent on chores to compress it into a small window. So you're not spending your 10 minutes here and there, mm -hmm. emptying the dishwasher, sweeping the floor, noticing that something is out of place and you need to put it back because it's just going to be out of place again yeah. five minutes later. So leave it. Enjoy your weekend. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do chores, do them in a small period of time so you can relax the rest of the time. Mm -hmm. I like that. And hopefully if I, if I implement that, my husband and I at the end of the weekend won't say to each other, I need a weekend. <laughs> I need a weekend to recover from that weekend. Yeah. Yes. You, say, you don't want to hit Sunday night feeling that way. You want to feel rejuvenated, like you are ready to hit Monday ready to go. Yeah. Yeah, I like that a couple of the themes that you had for before breakfast and for weekend are both um, about reflecting and picturing and planning. And so even if it's 10 minutes to to kind of sit still and not do something, you are you could be doing something very valuable because you're uh, visualizing and um, and thinking about how you want your ideal morning to be or how you want your ideal weekend to be. I like that. Reflecting. Happens, more. Happens, time passes whether we make conscious decisions about how we wish to spend it or not. Yeah. Not choosing is still a choice. So there's no getting out of choosing. And you may as well choose something that you'd right. like.